be honest, Kanaha Pond had to grow on me. Initially, it was just a very hot, muddy, swampy place that uh, as I grew to know it better and spent more time in here, I discovered uh, a, a side of the pond that I think most people don't get to see, which um, is unfortunate. So part of my passion has been to try and uh, do some outreach and, and get more public, you know, uh, exposure of the pond and it, its existence. Honestly, there's people who were born and raised here all their life, drove past it down Hana Highway and really don't even know it's here for the most part. It just looks like a big swamp. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions. Yeah, I believe you have four young standing there right now. It's a very healthy wetlands. We actually have a, a great array of birds here, um, both our native and endangered birds, as well as our winter migratory birds that come through. And the mornings, as we get to, to see this morning, we have a beautiful um, side of the pond that when the water's you know, reflecting the sun. Well, the birds we have around us immediately are our year-round uh, residents here, and that's the stilts, the Hawaiian stilts or aeo. They are, as you can see right there, we got a bunch of them. Um, of course, there would be more when there is more water in, in the pond. The other birds, and there are our, our biggest visitors, and the, the numbers, they have uh, the largest number of, of population here is, is the stilts. Um, and then right behind them, I would say is probably uh, sticking with our native birds, our coots, the Hawaiian coot, which there were a few out there earlier. Um, we also, at one point, there would have been koloas here. We don't believe that we have any true koloas anymore. I do get uh, hybrids, um, and those are really hard to, you know, confirm as to exactly whether or not they are koloa hybrids or just mallards. Um, we also have aukuu, our uh, black crowned night herons. Of course, the nene, the Hawaiian uh, goose. They are somewhat seasonal. Their breeding season getting ready to just start now, so there's more of them showing up. The plants grew on me. I have come to be a sort of biased against our native plants. Now, I only, not against, but for our native plants, um, I really, I, I see, I don't know, uh, to me the beauty of uh, the the vegetation really has to be native. <laughs> if it's not native, it's not beautiful, which isn't entirely true. Um, but that's there's a part of me that's kind of biased that way. So, uh, so I've done a lot of work to restore that that native habitat for the birds. Now, at this point, the the road, the original road, ran up through. There's kind of a hill right there you can see. There's a bush in front and behind it is a, a hill. There's a big kiabi on one side and ironwood on the other. I believe we found a material that has been tested and true and will hopefully withstand uh, years of, of work in the pond. This fence will be um, high enough to keep deer out. It will have um, a hood over it to prevent cats from getting in. And it will be a small enough mesh wire to keep everything down to a, the size of a mouse out. Um, so rats, cats, mongoose, um, and of course cats and dogs are, are our big predators here. And then as well as, as people, um, we tend to be a little destructive at times. I actually think it's a, a real special thing um, that we get to have this here. It's kind of like a little oasis in the middle of town here. It's a natural feature. It's something that has always been here. We've actually done a lot historically over the years. We've altered this, this area quite a bit. And I think it's um, important to sort of save the pond because uh, if, we, if we don't, if we, if we continue doing what we had done in years past where uh, they backfilled, the area that I'm sitting on is actually land that has been uh, backfilled back during World War II where the military had occupancy here and um, this would have otherwise been all like that right and would have and even further back than that it would have been a fish pond years ago. Mm -hmm.